Okay, now the actual other version of this game. <laughs> this one's on the DS, as you can see. I did remember to take time beforehand to create the background for this. Oh, jeez. What I didn't remember to do was turn down my volume. Ow. There we go. Makes a difference. Ow! That makes a difference to you guys. I was going to say that volume makes a difference to you guys, but it does to me. I had the, the volume up really high because I was uh, doing some audio tests. Uh, as you can see, um, there's probably something a little similar between the two versions of this game since we're seeing the same opening. It just happens to be on one screen instead of two. But uh, we'll see. I think this game might turn out to be a bit different than it is on the Game Boy, actually. Uh, maybe very different. I'll take a look just to see if the opening is maybe slightly different. Oh, not at all. I don't know. But, hey! Three dimensions. Last time Danny Phantom was in three dimensions on the DS, that was a real adventure. Wall kicks everywhere. And I loved it. I don't know if that was the same developer or not. I don't remember who developed uh, Nick Tuesday Night DS, actually. I'm a normal person. Oh, yes. I just love hitting these. Yeah. Okay, you see my mouse? Yes, you can. Very cool. See, that's a really... That's one of the most interesting game deletion screens I've ever seen. I always love just starting on those. Uh, I am tempted to just go on the hard. I'm yet to find a game, a game that's too hard to me on... Too hard for me on hard, so... Gallery... Oh, jeez. We still have ghost galleries. So is the game basically the same thing, other than just being maybe 3D? We'll see. Well, we're still starting in the kitchen. This time the kitchen's in three dimensions. Is everyone super small? <laughs> well, there are two dimensions, although well, the kitchen's in three, which is interesting. Although that's probably for the better. <laughs> I can see why I'm speeding up the text now. Huh, the, fa the, the speed up, the sped up text speed is actually faster in this game, I think. Huh, amusingly. Wasn't he actually holding stuff in this scene when he came in in the Game Boy version? I feel like this is actually less detailed. Also, Danny, stop like, get your, get your mouth back down to the bottom half of your face, please. Nah, he doesn't look like he's feeling alright. And now, now we're, now we're going flashback again. This is how the game starts. So is the gameplay going to be similar? I think, so. I would imagine if they have 3D backgrounds, well, the, the gameplay would actually also be in 3D. This looks very similar, but fancier. A lot fancier. Sweet. We got info now. I think we had info before. But. Okay, it looks like we have the same upgrades and whatnot, or same abilities and whatnot. Okay, wait a minute, we're... Okay, this doesn't seem any better. What was the point of having stuff in 3D? Is the game actually, like, totally identical? It's not common for games to be, like, super the same, <laughs> is one way of putting it. Like, exactly the same across different platforms. And they'll try to be, but usually licensed games are totally different in every single incarnation. In my experience. Uh, you guys might complain the top screen is kind of small in comparison to everything else. It is for me, too. <laughs> um, uh, but I can't really fit everything on the... Well, this is one of those cases where it wouldn't be bad to move the screens s sideways next to each other. Hmm. I usually keep them vertically you know, aligned, at which I can't make the game much bigger than this uh, going on top of my screen. Because lots of games assume that you actually have... Oh man, look at that much fancier graphics. For the, uh, for the shots, though. Yep, same same gameplay, apparently. Why am I... Hmm, I might actually switch to a controller, but I don't need to use a touchscreen. But I have a feeling I'll need to use a touchscreen at some point. This thing is on a keyboard now. Yeah, it looks, it looks really different. Uh, 
Yeah, we still got a polarity. Oh, let's try and use the... Oh, now I have abilities. I don't think I have any energy. Yeah, screen size is a bit awkward here for me. Right now, this is, you know, so far it seems like it's, I'm. It seems like I'm playing the exact same game with updated graphics, and also I'm playing on a keyboard instead of a proper controller. We got stuck down there. How expansive. Yep, you got polarity, which is kind of a loop mechanic, but not a bad one, I don't think. Although I never fully got the hang of it. Well, see, yes, I was wondering. So you can also press these, it looks like. Yeah, you can actually tap them on the bomb screen to uh, activate them, it seems like. Or, no, you can only tap them if you have them selected on the top screen, too. Well, that is weird. You have to select it on the... Wait. You know, now this one works. I was saying use visibility end. How does this work? I don't know why I couldn't use a boomerang. Just the touch screen. Not that I want to, but... I did it. Oh! I was about to say, at some point there's going to be something different, I think, because we have the touch screen here, because we have stuff on the bottom screen that seems like it probably means something. They're put there. They don't work instantly. That seems annoying. Yeah, that does make sense. Try like a little 3D on the thing on the right there, the pickup. Normal. Yeah, I want the laser. I can switch it. I can switch it will now. That is much more interesting. Huh. That is that is very different. Huh. Oh, now Pierce is just there too. Yeah. So it's it's like they've just added stuff. I wonder if this is gonna be exactly the same game with added things you can do. Which would be very weird if so. Oh, sweet. That's much better. That's what happens when you have two more buttons, too. Than you do in the, uh... What? Oh, the laser's different. No! Darn it! The laser's so much more useful the other way. Darn it. They, they, took, they nerfed the laser, basically. No. Why would I want to do that? Huh. I won't do what you tell me. kind of weird. I, I, I'm spending energy to make energy now. You, you got no energy for absorbing ghosts back in the in the GBA version.
Uh, no, I don't remember that happening before. Yeah, I'm curious. It seems like this game might be like a strict superset of the original or of the last version. Oh, now I got a little bit of 3D. I'm curious if this game is just going to be like a, a strict superset of the, the other version. Just like, or like a slight tweak to it. These guys every single time I touch them. Hold on. Oh, not <laughs> I keep destroying them. I don't I'm not trying to destroy them. I, I destroy these guys the first time I touch them every single time. See, now, now I can have choice, which is very interesting. Oh, I don't need to use the cursor. There we go. This is very interesting. I'm trying to hit these things twice every single time, it's just... It's really hard not hit things twice. I know I, I know I can touch things, but don't make me touch things. I think that's the only thing you have to do with the mouse or with the with the touch screen. Just from using mouse. Oh, but why can't the meat be three D? Disappointing. I've had a little harder to charge in this game. Strange. Does the graphical effect seem a little overdone, honestly? But. I can live with it. I think I'm having an easier time so far, though, with this game. I am on a hard, right? Okay. This is shaping up to be something interesting, a very interesting change from the Game Boy version, which you know, I always kind of want to think of as the original version because this is so similar otherwise, except for having more stuff. Urban Jungle Final Mix. Anyways, I'll see you guys next time when. Uh, well, you probably know what happens next since we've played the Game Boy version, but we'll see. But everyone.